Hey guys, it's Daniel. Lane Staley and Kat Bejelin are both important figures from the 90s alternative music scene. But what's not very well known about them is that they briefly had somewhat of a relationship with each other. Alice in Chains and Babes in Toyland, Kat Bejelin's band, toured together in 1993, and according to Kat Bejelin's bandmate Maureen Herman, Lane and Kat became an item. The following quotes are from Alice in Chains' The Untold Story. The first is from Maureen. Quote, Kat and he seemed to really hit it off and get along and that ended up turning into a relationship during the tour. And I do remember Lane's bodyguard Val throwing Kat into a tub of water once because at one point they did kind of connect the dots of Lane getting into trouble by hanging out with us and or Kat specifically. I find it extremely hard to believe that there was not a relationship going on there. It's just not possible. End quote. Lori Barbero, Cat Bejelin's other bandmate in Babes in Toyland, recalls things slightly differently. Quote, They didn't disappear that much that I ever thought anything was really going on. I think they were more drug buddies. I think seriously it was the very first night. Lane came to our backstage room and he was like, hey, and just became our friend immediately. And that was kind of his treehouse, as I like to say, where he hung out pretty much all the time. Every day he'd come by and hang out with us. He hung out in our room all the time. I don't really know why. Maybe he just liked to be around ladies. Or just to get away from his own crew that he had to be around all the time. But he just really liked hanging out with us and we just had a lot of fun. Lane really adored Kat. I mean, he wasn't a smack talker. Some guys in bands are just like, ugh. And they pretend their girlfriend's a drag. So if anything happened with another girl, it would be cool. Because he didn't really like his girlfriend anyways. From what I gather, however, he really adored her at this point. End quote. Maureen adds the following, quote, It was clear, however, that there was rejection going on, and Kat doesn't take rejection well. Some of her best songs cover that territory, end quote. Kat Bejelin at one point overdosed during the tour. Randy Byro, a member of Alice in Chains crew, once reflected on this, quote, That whole overdose thing, I think she tried to guilt Lane, and he just said, well, it's not my responsibility to look after her. He felt bad about it, but you can't. It wasn't his fault. He never felt like he was at fault for any of it. 